And if you're thinking, and oh my gosh, you didn't need about that again. It's so obsessive. So, mind your business. So I just got off the exit and I had to do a double take. Like, yeah, that was tragic. Bless me. Bless her. Bless her. Everybody. My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today I don't want to fluff or do none of that stuff. I don't want to fluff or do none of that stuff because you already read in the title what this video is about. So we're just gonna hop right on it. Okay, so quick backstory. I had to travel a little ways away from my house to go to Crate and Barrel, and on the way, there's an outlet. Yes, I know, it's a trap. So I just got off the exit to see what they had. I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I just, you know, I was already traveling, making a day out of shopping, why not? And boom, there she was this gorgeous curvy sofa. Now I have been wanting a curvy sofa for a while. I've been pinning it nonstop on my Pinterest, saving it on my Instagram. It's just something I've been wanting for a long time, but I didn't really think I was gonna get one this soon. I saw one on Amazon that I was gonna get. It was only $1,300 and prime shipping, hello. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll give myself this for Christmas or when I move because right now I just don't need a sofa. You know? No. no. I had to jump on this real quick. So I walked past the sofa and I had to do a double take. Like, when I saw the price tag, $399. Now mind you, this sofa is $2,100 originally. That's over 80% off. Like, I, no words. I don't even think you can get a sofa that cheap at like, Big lots. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Peaches? No shade, no tea. They had three of them, so I figured, okay, let's not be impulsive like you usually are and just, you know, take some time and think about it. So I left the outlet, went to Crate and Barrel to pick up my order, and I kid you not, right in the entryway of the store was the sofa I had just seen. Like, this had to be fake. The way the sun was just beaming down on it, it was just so pretty. I sat down on it, I kicked my feet up. The way they had it set up was just, I felt it, kind of looked at it from different angles because at this point I had made up my mind. I'm getting this sofa. I took a poll on Instagram. 90% of you said, yeah, go ahead and get it. Not that it mattered because I was gonna get it anyway. I just needed a little bit of reassurance. So I got my order, went home, because at this point, the outlet had closed. So I was like, okay, in the morning, I'll just drive back and get it. Next morning, I didn't have to get up super early because the outlet didn't open until 11. So I got me some iced coffee, got my mind right, got it, and I just, y'all, I am in love. I cannot believe I found my dream sofa for so cheap. Like, now of course at the outlet you're dealing with maybe some damaged items, a little bit of dirt. I asked if I could bring in some Folex and a rag to see if the dirt would come out. They said no, which is really weird to me. Like, it's a free clean job. Why no? But the sales associate said it should come right out. It's just some warehouse dirt. It does have a little tear on the bottom, but the other two had tears like in the corners of the... I don't know why I'm doing this, but they had tears on the corners of the top of the chair. So I got the one that was at the bottom that you couldn't see. And honestly, it's not even a rip. It's just, well, it's a rip, but you can take some fabric glue and just put the fabric back on because the fabric is still there. It's not like a hole. So needless to say, I got my dream sofa. I cannot believe the price I got it at. Like it's once in a lifetime. 
well, three times in a lifetime because there are three. I'm just so excited that I got it and I cannot wait to get it up these stairs. I was trying to be brave and move it by myself. I got a boo-boo, like I still have bruising from the chair falling on my arm because I didn't want to wait on anybody and I tried to move it up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, that was tragic. But anyway, you guys will be seeing it soon, so stay tuned. Like I said earlier, the whole point of me going to Crate and Barrel is to pick up a sculpture. Now, in case you missed it, Athena Calderon did a collaboration with Crate and Barrel and the collection, wow, like amazing. If you're new here, she is actually one of my favorite interior designers. I fell in love with her after I bought her book, Live Beautiful, and I've just been following her work and she doesn't disappoint, okay? So you know I had to snag something to support. I love how she has high and low pieces. So if you have a big budget, she has something for you. If you don't want to spend that much money, she has something for you too. Like there's glassware, there's little candle holders. It's just amazing. But I opted in true Andrea form for this sculptural piece. I ordered two just in case one of them came broken. I've learned my lesson 10 times over about that. But it was packaged so well, I didn't even need the second one. He's gorgeous, he's sculptural, rib terracotta, neutral, everything I love in a decorative piece. And now my little wooden boy has a friend. Like, look how cute they're gonna look sitting beside each other on my bookcase. So, so cute. This was only $40 and it's still on the site, ready to ship. So grab you one if you love it. So this next piece is a repeat. I already have it in this size and the smaller one, but when I saw it, I just had to get it again because it was discounted so low, it was almost criminal to keep it there. And, oh, it's heavy. It is this marble sculpture. Originally, this size is $249, but they had it marked all the way down to $50 in the outlet. And y'all, you're never gonna find anything. Oh my, I'm about to put this down because ain't no way. Ooh. Okay, I had to put that down. I'll just put up a picture somewhere on the side. So like I said, I had already bought this piece in the larger size and the smaller size. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, you didn't need to buy that again. It's so obsessive. So. Mind your business. My coins, my house, my life. $50 for a solid marble piece in that size, you never come across that. So I had to get it, like I said. there. I mean, there's no way it was staying in the store. So yeah, I bought it for the second time, and I'm not sorry about it. Hmm. Up next, I got another vessel. This is also from the Crate and Barrel outlet, but they do have this on the site right now and stock ready to ship. It was originally $40, but I got 50% off, so I got it for 20. I just had to get it. I have nothing like it. Yes, I have a lot of vessels and vases, whatever you wanna call it, but nothing in this shape, nothing in this finish. I love how it looks kinda of moldy. Yeah. Okay, that's not a good way to describe it. It looks very aged to me and I love that about it. I love the shape and the tones, so he had to come with me. The texture is amazing. It's kinda of glazed, but not too shiny where it's like tacky. You know what I mean? So yeah, like I said, I had to get it. I can use it as a vase, like put some stems in it or use it as a sculpture. You guys know I love those kind of pieces. So yeah, he had to come home. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. I am so excited about my sofa. Like, that's probably at the top of the list for purchases this year that I got on a good deal, so. Yeah. If you have an outlet near you, I highly suggest just going and seeing what they have. Maybe even calling around, making a friend at the outlet. You might get some insight or some intel. Insider. In, uh, you might get the tea on what's in the stores. So yeah, it's totally worth it. Like I say, so much money. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell if you haven't. What am I doing? <laughs> Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health, and I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.